Right, um, good afternoon. Um, <clears throat> greetings. Guten Tag, Talafalava. This is Dr. Snowbrand speaking to you all once again. Being the 10th of December 2021, uh, thank you all for tuning in. A blessed afternoon, um, an awesome afternoon to my Knights and Chiefs of the Round Tables of Queen Snow Brown and Dr. Snow Brown, especially Dr. Snow Brown. Uh, but to my um, ACC1, ACC2, Snow Brown Club Navigation, and also my Knights and Chiefs and everyone that are doing our programs, the 6RA rules, as well as the 150 Days War program. Now, <clears throat> I think today is such a significant day because it looks like that restraining order is going to be filed, thankfully. Uh, yes, finally, finally. Now, it won't be today because yesterday I had the, I got the strong feeling that, I, that it should be today. But I suddenly realized, no, this isn't the right date. This isn't the right date. Probably the 15, 15th of December is probably the, the right date to file my restraining order. That, that is correct. Hmm. And anyway, I want you all to take 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 a hard look, take a hard look at this natural old pasta. Once more, once more. Uh, in fact, I, I urge you, in fact, I encourage a lot of you, hmm, especially those that have been part of my ministry from 2018, well, from the 11th of January 2018 until now, until now. That's great. Take a hard look. Take a hard look at your natural noble pasta. It's meek. Take a hard look at this noble. In fact, if you can, get some of your children to listen to my videos. Now, I know that it's not for children. That's correct. But I can tell you this. That at the moment, I'm, I'm preaching on the level of rat bags. That's correct. Which is, in the wilderness, I'm in the wilderness. But I can guarantee you now that You'll know them. You, you'll know if your children don't like me. Then, 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 then you know that you are not what you're not to enter my kingdom. If your children like me, th then you know that I must be. That you must, you know, there must be something good. That's great. Then, then, then I must be a good shepherd. Then I must be a good shepherd. But if your children don't like me, then it's probably that you're not a Christian. And your family is not a Christian, and your DNA is probably not on a noble's level. Your DNA is not on a noble's level. You might be a rat, a rat bag family, or a punk family, or a commoner, commoner, too common, that's correct. A commoner family, meaning you don't have any Jesus, there's no Christ in your family, that's correct. You're not a Christian family. So if your children don't like me, that might be another reason. But if your children like me, then, then it's probably because you're from a Christian family, that's correct. Or possibly because you have Gaelic heritage, as in German Scottish heritage, that's correct. Or, or Psalm 1 heritage, so that might be another reason, or English heritage. But all in all, like I said, I am very genuine, I am very genuine in what I do. And today I was just madly um, preaching out loud and having a good laugh at the idea of um, the restraining order, at the people that I'm going to be dealing with on the restraining order. And I suddenly realized that I'm actually a victim. I am actually a victim. Hmm. A modern day slave, a modern day contemporary slave, that's correct, that's been targeted and abused and tortured and used and abused by the likes of the so-called English brutes, English brutes, that's correct, in this country called New Zealand. Would you believe? Would you believe that? And all because, well, I didn't respect the, recognize the rights of the so-called, uh, the people of Crywater, that's correct. But I mean, hey, what's it to you, English people? What's it to you, Pakia? Well, why do you need to worry about that issue? That ain't a problem at all. Hey, we are all citizens of this country, that's correct. And I, if you didn't accept it, that I was a Pakia, if you could accept that, which you couldn't, that's correct. And you couldn't even accept that I was a noble, as in a royal status, that's great. Now, if you couldn't accept Dr. Snow, I being Dr. Snow Brown, then you must have stolen my intellectual property, that's great. You must have taken ownership for your own interest and your own empowerment and advancement 
of your so-called, that's great, of the white nigger as well as the brown nigger in this country. Does that sound about right? It does sound right, except a lot of you would feel intimidated by the sound of my voice, the tone of my voice, the manner and my mannerism in the manner that I speak, and yet I am actually a full royal. That's correct. Now take a hard look again. Why am I wearing a cap? That's correct. And I ask the same question as well in my other videos that I shared with you all. Now, I'm about to change, I mean, the conditions of my church TV. I will be doing that at some stage on this day, uh, later on this evening. That's correct. So that what? So that then only people that are of reborn Christians and are of noble status can enter, can feel like, yeah, now we feel much safer. Hmm. As for the rest of them, they need to stay out. Indeed. There is to be no commoners, there is to be no commoners. But if you come in, it will only be as a guest and a visitor. So I am only interested in those that can prove that they've got some sort of nobility in their DNA or bloodline. If this is a baby private monarch, well, then you know it's a royal's intellectual property. That's correct. I know. Now, in 2006, it looks like Mr. Willow, that barrister, the so-called Mad Hatter, hmm, sort of want to be royal, you know, or, or want to be so-called king, as in like Chief Ichabam, so-called barrister by the name of Mr. Anthony Shaw, or Mr. Willow, in Oriental Bay, that's correct, stole, stole a copy of my play through his criminal connections, which can only be the police officer, a police officer, that's correct, the one that violated you during a lockup on the 24th of June, 2003. It can only be that arrogant bastard prick, son of a bitch, that's correct, who should be put to death, hmm, that went in, that came in, that went in, that's correct. You see what, what they do, and, and this, of course, is your cousin's criminal connections, bad connections, that's correct. And they're all associates, and they're all associates of the Red Demon. Why am I to presume it's a red dragon? No, it's the red demon. That's correct. Mr. Willow is an associate. The police officer that violated you is an associate. And they all know your cousin as well as their, your cousin's side of the family very well. That's correct. Because they are all associates. And have all connection and have all taken advantage of you. That's correct. You see how they didn't bother to ask for your consent or authorization, let alone a written permission, let alone offer you some sort of bribery or monetary reward of some sort. And yet your cousin's family benefited, that's correct, enormously from your intellectual property that they stole and also with all the experimenting and the stalking and harassing of you and the application of all their protocols and the studying of you. That's correct, Mr. Willow. Oh, I wouldn't be surprised if all of a sudden when you stole that intellectual property, which you did, because now it, it really does show and it will be proven in court. And I could prove it in court that you did. Well, I was thinking to myself, why is the son of a bitch here next door dictating, dictating to my privileges here at this address inside this building? And outside this building and everywhere else. And I suddenly realized there must be another rat bag. There must be another tyrant or so-called wannabe fake king. Mm. Uh, you know, behind the son of a bitch. That's correct. That That is from the Red Demon. Part of the Red Demon criminal, uh, you know, organization or outfit that is dictating, that, that is uh, delegating this kind of arbitrary dictatorship authority. And sure enough. It was none other than Mr. Willow. I mean, Mr. Willow, come on now. Who the fuck are you? That's correct. You might be a member of the elite. Hey, you might have had years of experience, prestigiousness, you know, being among the elite and being, you know, a barrister, a prominent, well, world-renowned uh, barrister in the courts of New Zealand. But that doesn't give you any right to dictate to my privileges, let alone my livelihood, my, my intellectual property on Facebook. That's correct. Let it go behind my back. Let it go enter 
uh, my private spaces and even my immediate family's private spaces. This is getting too far. This is going all too far, this greed. Where they're gaining access into our so-called immediate families addresses to study to study i don't know what you're up to mr willow but all this data collect yeah data collecting and, and, and so-called anecdotal collection case studies are these all authorized are these legally authorized who gave you the authorization that's great and where are you taking all that information all official information has been accessed unlawfully and illegal illegally that's correct Remember, the, the impression that I get is that suddenly, I wouldn't be surprised if you've been, I don't know, knighted by, by an elite, no, definitely not the Governor General of New Zealand, and, and definitely not Cardinal John Drew, to, to, or bestow, to, to be bestowed the title of Chief Ijibam, that's correct, so that you can be the king of the what? King of the rat bags, king of all the Kiwis, or in this, just in this particular region of the country, you can dictate and tell everybody else. That's right. How to dictate to my privileges and so forth. You couldn't be a king at all. My gosh, you could only be a tyrant, let alone a criminal, but a stalker as well. Did you know that? Well, you wouldn't know any better. You see, you were so cunning, conniving, and really, I, I've, got, I've got to give it to you, buddy. That's great. You're giving me that order of supervision? So you can declare me insane, and yet you are actually the fake mad King Hatta. That's correct. Of all, you are the most, I don't know, the fool, the biggest fool of all the fools and of all the rat bags. In fact, I should give you the king of the fool, the, the king of all the fools. That's correct. And also the fake king of, of all the what? Of all the hunchbacks. That's great. So I must be the hunchback of Notre Dame. Oh, Mr. Brick would like to think that, wouldn't he? Yes, he would. You know, the irony is uh, when I come to court to deal with my restraining order, I shall be dealing with all the hunchbacks. And who are the hunchbacks? Well, they're none other than the fools, but the slaves themselves. I would be looking at exactly, I would be looking at a, at a hunchback. That's correct. In fact, I, and who is that? Mr. Willow himself? Mr. Willow himself and Mr. Brick. And Mr. Matthew Palmer, that's correct. And, and Afadia Baker. He thinks he's Chief Indy Baker. Well, that's just a title that I use as a natural bastard, naturally as a reborn Christian or as a reborn on my intellectual property. So I use those titles because that is what I do. That is who I am. I am Dr. Snow Brown and I'm a natural pastor. And, and get this, I am German. Mm. I am definitely a white person. That's great. So that's why I use those titles. There is nobody, you won't find any other members of the clergy out there who is this, who is meek like a child like me and who can create any titles. That's correct. No, no, you won't. That's correct. There is no such person. I'm one of the rarest, the most rarest. That's correct. Clergymen, new clergymen. You dare use my intellectual property for your rubbish. You're trashy. That's great. Your despicableness and your so-called contaminations. English brute. That's great. You typical English thief. That's correct. The English have been renowned all these years of overthrowing so-called other kings and queens and nobles, so-called private monarchs, and also their thrones. And you, Mr. Willow, you are about just as that bad. You are one of the most, the, the worst kind of... Uh, what do you call it, commoner who commits treason against a, a, a real, you know, I'm a full royal, I'm a full royal. Did you realize that? Do you know the seriousness of your offend? Of your offending? I could have you thrown in jailbird, that's correct. And I mean, you can rot there in jailbird. Oh, this is not the green mile. Don't forget. Hey, I might be, you know, an ugly son of a bitch. Yeah, you don't, you, you'd say that, of course. I might be an ugly indigenous person, but don't forget, I wear royal shoes and I wear a crown and you don't. You wish you, you, you wish. That's great. You like to think that you wear a crown, wouldn't you? But you're nothing more than just a piece of trash, a punk in a rat bag and, and a so-called, so-called, that's great, fake, a fake son of a bitch, that's great, 
who took advantage of other people's intellectual property, other people's gifts and talents, who stole other people's so-called treasures, that's great, so that he could get run, run ahead, run ahead with the cow and the moon and the kiwi. Hmm. Except, of course, Dr. Snowbound, when she soon discovered what was going on, why everybody else was complying with so-called the, the arbitrary dictatorships. On behalf of so-called, you know, King Mr. Willow, hmm, fake king uh, uh, of the Manhattas, or the fake king of all the fools, that's great. Uh, th what? That's great. Oh, I am not crazy. No, you guys are crazy. Mr. Willow is one of the most dangerous elites I've ever come across. That's great. And I tell you right, the, the crown king of Norway and any other royal family overseas, they are not going to accept your authorization and your authority, Mr. Willow. That's correct. Your authority uh, only presides, only is within the pre precincts, in the precincts of your little castle there on Grass Street. And that's right, meaning your, your humble abode, your home. That's great. That is where your royal highness, so-called authority, which you have none of, can stick, can stick, can, can remain. That's great. See, all these years, you, there's no doubt you've been studying this noble during the order of supervision over seven years. While you were studying this noble at that time, you certainly had learned, you, you were trying to aim, you were aiming at to become a fully-fledged, you know, royal, royal. That's great. Were you not? You knew that I was from royal blood. You knew that I had, uh, you know, prestigious DNA, prestigious loins. Way above your class, indeed. You are nothing more than just a commoner. And I've got every right to speak in this manner and tell you exactly what I think and where you would be told where to sit and where to stand. That's correct. Because I am above you, Mr. Willow. But obviously not. Hmm. He wanted to lower your status, your class, down to a a loser like him, like the rest of his friends who are actually rat bags and commoners, that's correct. And of course, oh, well, you couldn't. You you could try to lower my status down. You could never, even if you gave me an order of supervision. Did you know that royals have immunities? That's correct. Especially if they have been targeted and set up and framed by a bunch of wannabes royals, that's correct. Just like the song that Lord sings, that's correct. Royals, that yes, right. Hmm. Except this one is a real one, and this one is a, is a, for real. I'm I'm really a I'm a fully fledged experience. I am a born bred. My loins are speaks royalty. That's great. Hey, we can have our, our DNA checked, Mister Willow, and yours is just not that superior. Good try, a good try, nice try though. Hmm. Remember, you're all about superiority, isn't it? Well, well, being among the elite, of course, you've got to have something that stands out. Mm. You, you've got to have something that makes you, you know, superior and, of course, part of the group. And don't say you made my cousin as queen of the rat bags or the queen of the elites. Or that she has become part of the, the elite because of, because of my so-called intellectual property that they stole or you stole. That's correct. Back in 2006. How suddenly, well, your, your status was elevated to a royal status. Hey, you could never be part of the brown monarch. You ain't no Christian. You're just a punk in a rat bag. That's great. Who went about, who, who always did things the wrong way. Who always did things the wrong way. Hmm. I mean, after all, you, you've got the, the criminal connection. You've got the criminal connection. When it came to this noble, how come, you know, you could speak to my cousin face to face? And her family face to face. You could speak to any of my rallies face to face. That's great. Except when it came to you. Oh, you cannot speak to her. That's great. Directly. And even when you had correspondences. That's great. Oh, they was just. I was like the silent one. You, oh, no. She is the, the, the outcast. Mm, the stranger. The silent one. The one that's been sent to exile. How wonderful. That's great. And all the royals must be laughing, and the, all, all the royals are laughing. That's great. Uh, laughing at the idea that what? That, that I must be a mad king, like King Ludwig? Well, I don't think so. Hey, if you see this, that's right. The proof, that this is the proof that my kingdom exists, that my meek Crystal Kingdom Church TV, Crystal Kingdom, actually exists. That's great. 
So if you see anybody wearing their caps like that, and they come into Crystal Kingdom Church TV all the time, then that means that they connect to my kingdom that is called Crystal Kingdom. And they have become a snow sheep or a snow shepherd. That's correct. And that they could very well be, they could only be Christians, of course. But I mean, good fruits, good fruits, blessed good fruits, good shepherds, good snow sheep, a, a good snow shepherds, but not rat bags. And certainly, you know, not the likes where you're coming in pretending to be a fake reborn, to be a fake reborn. I don't want any fake reborn. In fact, that is why only people that have noble status, royal status, and of noble reborn Christians should enter, should enter. That's why I don't want any gang bashers. Uh, the Bible bashers, they, they can enter, but 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 be be wary, be careful, be careful. That's correct. Hmm. Uh, as for the precious little munchkin special, sorry, lads. As for you guys, Mr. Willow, you need to create your own intellectual property for your own rat bags, for your own punk rat bags, w whatever. That's correct. This, this intellectual property of mine was supposed to be for reborn. It's for reborn Christians only. That's correct. And, and it's for royals and nobles only. And that's why it's a brown monarch. So there is to be no KKK. There is to be no MB. There is to be no none of that kind of nonsense. Commoners, commoners, rat bags, outlaws, uh, criminals. That's great. They, they should be none of it entering. You understand now why when that restraining order is activated, that Mr. Willow, I hope to the, with the good God of grace, the good grace of God, that the judge is going to be also wearing a crown that says, it, it is time for you to go to jailbird. That's correct. You and your associates, especially the likes of my so-called cousin's dad, daddy. Hmm. I mean, your side of the family is bad news, bad news, bad connections, evil connections, harmful connections. I mean, look at me. Hey, I might look this way, but but I'm a royal. I'm a full royal. That's correct. How dare you steal from the full royal? How dare? That's correct. You, you, you imposters, you fake imposters, posing yourselves as, as, as so-called wannabe royals, but you can dictate into my privileges, but you think you can overrule, that's great, overstep hmm, and override my decision-making behind my back and even through my immediate family. How dare? Who do you think you are? You might be some white, uh, good-looking park, yeah? That's great. White nigger, brown nigger. I couldn't give a damn, but you ain't about me and you're not about to steal my intellectual property that has nothing to do with your criminal connections or your criminal organizations or, or the way that you guys have been, you know, cultivated. You know what I mean? Yeah, sadly, you need to go and create your own kingdoms somewhere else, whether it might be on your private Facebooks, get your own intellectual property, but you need to stop connecting into my network. Hmm. And also stop listening to my private conversation and stop taking my information out of official, accessing my official information without any rights to do so. You guys are commoners. You know that? You got no right to access me, complete, access my official information. Whether it be in the system or, or no, you got no rights either to dictate to me. That's great. Or any members of my royal family who are the brown monarch. You know, I feel like I'm talking to what? I feel like I'm talking to a bunch of fools anyway. Hmm. Because it, it, they don't seem to compute. They don't seem to sink in. That's great. And it's because, you know, they're racist and they're prejudiced. And also because they're so ignorant, but stupid as well. Hmm. And totally reckless as well. You keep it up, keep it up, guys. Hmm. Indeed. Yeah, I've been around. Man, I tell you. I should have left your, uh, your, 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 your shithole of a country a long time ago. That's great. I should have left the stinking shit junkyard, all right? Mm. They're rude, they're arrogant, and they are uh, definitely your generation of son of a bitches. They got no manners. They got no manners, and they got no boundaries either. But you kind of wonder why. Mm. And then they go into, come into my crystal kingdom and think they can show that attitude. Half the so-called owner, the, the, you know, the co-founder, the producer, the director, and think they can tell you how to run your church TV, let alone dictate to it. 
And yet, hello, do you, are you even the director? Do you contribute any money or any funds of any sort? Now, as for any you know businesses here locally that, that have been listening to a bunch of fools, a, a bunch of criminals, crimmies, and applying the rat bags, applying their arbitrary dictatorships to my privileges, uh, you guys better drop it. You guys better drop it now. Right? Hey, they are not the government of New Zealand. They, they, they don't own your businesses or your, your so-called livelihood. Why are you letting some bullies like that tell you what to do? That's correct. They don't apply your, your harmful, uh, harmful um, dictatorships or protocols that is likely to get your, li get your businesses also shut down where you will lose your license. Do you want to lose your license or do you want to pay a fine? On behalf of the rat bags, that's great. Or on behalf of the so-called red demon or on behalf of Mr. Willow, that barrister who is actually a rat bag, that's correct. Or an outlaw. Do you want to pay a fine? Because I, I, I sure would like to impose a fine. If you applied their harmful protocols to me that I've got nothing to do with, hey, I'm a, I'm a director, that's right, of a, of a special company that is a registered ministry, but you now know that the kingdom actually exists. That's great because everybody is wearing their caps like that and are also applying my rules. That's correct. So that means my kingdom actually exists. So that means I have value. So my intellectual property has a lot of value. But for you to undermine me that way and also disrespect me by not giving me a donation, hey, you need to move up. It's just as well I'm moving on. That's correct. Now, as for the rest of you who are genuine, and, and, and besides, I, I should only be speaking to royals, to my level, to my level, to nobles. I shouldn't be speaking to any elite person, and, and I really don't need to. And thank God I never fucked an elite either. Like some of you wannabes hmm, who want to dictate to a royal. You, If you ever fuck an elite to dictate to a royal, the dictate to a royal, do you know what they do to people like you? They either hang you up, mm, where you're dangling there in the, in, in the mid-air, or, or they execute you. They chop your head off, that's great, or they chop you to pieces, or they throw your ass in jail, bird. Mm, and that's only just if they're really nice and, and, and you know, and, and not so mean. They'll chuck you in the, the jail, bird. That's great, where you'll, that's great, where, you'll, where they'll dictate to you. Mm. And brainwash you some more. And, and meanwhile, when you come out again, if you try again, you, you're going to get death penalty. You're going to get death, death penalty. That's great. People, I have never come across such evil white son of a bitches. And I'm talking about you English brutes. Have you actually violated a noble during a lockup so that you could apply the, your arbitrary dictatorship so that later on you could assert some sort of property chattel right over this this noble dictate to my privileges that's right abuse me torture me subject me to all sorts of evils my god you guys deserve the death penalty you son of a bitches that's right but i mean the elite have got to have some sort of i mean I, i'm starting to wonder what kind of government have we got hmm if we've got those kind of punks you know that are allowed it in the system let alone at this address to do this kind of thing to a real you know to a Ro full royal man i might be uh, living i might be another beneficiary my employment status job seeker mm. but it's actually not my my employment status is actually a, a noble mm. you should know that by now when i've got intellectual property like that and titles like that and a kingdom man i'm way above i'm way above all of you and that includes the lawyer and the elites as well their pockets might be so deep but their DNA is not superior like this one. Remember that. So you all have a nice day today. That's great. Anyway, like I said, I'm going to change the, I mean, the conditions of my church TV. So that it aligns, so that it aligns only with people that deserve to enter. That's great. As for the rest of you, you need to stay out and move on. All right. As for my precious little munchkins, precious lots, sorry lots, my congregation, continue on, continue on. Enjoying your privileges, that's correct. But doing things the right way, doing things the right way. And being civil. And also, don't put up, don't put up with any rubbish that anybody gives you. 
Don't put up with nothing. Don't put up with any criminal offenses. Don't put up with any tortures. Don't put up with any domestic violence. Don't put up with anything. Do something about it. Do something about it for God's sake. Don't sit on it. Don't, don't wait for don't, don't wait for, for Jesus, the second coming of Jesus to sort it out. Because when he comes, he's only going to slaughter. He's only interested in putting them under the sword, under the knife. That's correct. He's only interested in taking them out because, hey, you've been given plenty of time to transform your lives, to change your, you know, you know to stop doing evil stuff. But of course, you still want to be a rat bag and a, and a son of a bitch. That's great. So now it's time for you to go, you evil, you evil seed, you bad seed. That's great. That's that. That's that. As for my cousin, madam, you'll have to come to court to explain your contribution. But I mean... You haven't got any integrity. Like you said, if I haven't got a leg to stand on, it's probably because you don't know any better. Mm. And also because you don't have a leg to stand on and you haven't got a case. In fact, that lawyer that you saw, mm, you might have, you know, shared skin with, that might have elevated you to be, or that might have made your family be part of the elites, just like with Mr. and Mrs. Shock mm, and the rest of them, in the side of the, that side of the family. Just remember, hmm, that if if I can initiate warrant of arrest and search warrants upon all of you, that's correct, and, and obtain all your telecommunications in the last, you know, especially in the last eight years, you'll have no case. You'll have no case. Mm. Because there are satellites and their agency that can obtain information in such a way that it will be proven that you not only stalked the hell, but you also harassed and you also stole from this, this noble, but you also dictated to my privileges. On a commoner's rat bag level, on a criminal's level. So you've got no case, you've got no lead to stand on. Case closed, case closed. That's correct. So you'll have a nice day, but behave yourselves. But with the dictatorships now, arbitrary data, that needs to stop now. You stop being a punky, that's correct. Drop it, drop it. Otherwise, the, the stormtroopers are going to come in and start arresting you, but chucking you, but harass, assaulting, assaulting you, that's correct putting you down in your that's right because after all they're sociopaths and maniacs and lunatics right thank you for tuning in everyone especially my precious SEC1 SEC2 and of course a blessed good day to all my 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 family my immediate family especially my nieces and nephew uh th this aunt is what your aunt is a full royal and your aunt is also a king and your aunt is also the owner of a kingdom. You remember that. Don't let anybody out there mess with you. You are full royal children. That's correct. And they are commoners. So they better learn their boundaries. But you tell them mm, that I am a full royal. And that they are not. And that their DNA are not superior. Our DNA are so superior. That's correct. Jim around is part two. Brackets, Stuart, which is Dash Brown. Right. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.